such countries out there like South Africa, when you win Miss South Africa, you are given a luxury apartment for one year fully paid. Really? You're given a Mercedes Benz. Yes, these are sponsors. You're given a Mercedes Benz and you're given one year ambassador job. You are paid to wherever you're going. You know, so it's a prestigious crown at the end of the day. And uh, is Miss Kenya 2019 taken? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to number one channel. My name is David Chams. I'm one of the luckiest guy to meet a beautiful, cute, and pretty lady, Miss Kenya 20. 20? 19. Wow, Miss Kenya 2019. Nice to meet you too. How are you? I'm fine. It, it, it's been, you know, uh, it, it's a dream come true. Uh, hey, sure. You've never met a beauty queen before? Um, <laughs> not, not, okay, not really like you, not, mm. not, not uh, Miss Kenya, you know, yeah, it, it, it's actually a, a dream come true. Yes, good so, to uh, see you. Uh, good to see you too. Thanks for having me actually. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just before we proceed, uh, just introduce yourself to the channel. Okay, my name is. Hi guys, my name is Susan Kirui. I am Miss South Kenya 2019, a commercial model, an actress, as well as, as an entrepreneur. Wow. So maybe a quick one. How did you start this dream of becoming a Miss Kenya? Yeah. So um, it, it it wasn't actually something that I thought of when I reflect, but it was. Uh, I've been modeling for the last seven years. So, you know, when you're back in campus, you try and see what can work best for you in terms of trying to make a revenue out of it. So I tried, uh, I was introduced for, uh, uh, to a mentor of mine mm -hmm. where I started activations. You know, these activations for alcohol, yeah. uh, for brands, for services, where you go and talk to people about a certain product mm -hmm. in the name of making an income at the end of the day. I started like that as a hostess. Mm -hmm. And I now transitioned to become a runway model. So in this case, I remember there's a day when my mentor was calling me and he was like, Hiya, sasa kuna auditions mahali, mm -hmm. I want you to try. And I was like, I have never tried even walking on a runway before. I was so green in it. So I was like, let me just give it a try. You know, kwa maisha, you have to give everything a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, opportunity, such opportunities, comes you know, once. Comes once. Mm -hmm. Because let me give it a try. So I can imagine mm -hmm. I was in the middle of three hundred contestants. Wow! The whole three hundred. Yes, you know it's a whole, it's a national competition, eh? uh, and it's such a big title. So I was like, ah, I'm a Nairobi contestant. We were battling with the major cities in Kenya. It was Nairobi, Mombasa, and Kisumu. Mm -hmm. So I was a Nairobi contestant where we were going through heavy heavy training, mm -hmm. and boot camps also where mm -hmm. they get to test and produce the best of the best. Mm -hmm. So there was intense training, uh, they check on your personality, your cut work, your public speaking, mm -hmm. your etiquette skills, your aura, everything. You have to be all in one. Mm -hmm. and, the, the, and also my beauty pageant mm -hmm. competition and tells about the environment. Mm -hmm. It's a very factual uh, competition. Mm -hmm. It's all about facts. You need to know and relate with the environment really well. Mm -hmm. You have to do your research. Mm -hmm. See, you, you must be, you must perfect your game. You have to perfect your game. Mm -hmm. I was going through intense research and knowing, checking what global warming is mm -hmm. and how, how it's affecting the years to come and the years before. Mm -hmm. You know, you even for getting into such pageants, you have to have a pet project that you, what you've done for your society mm -hmm. or a charitable program mm -hmm. with people mm -hmm. and they get to gauge the best of the best. And you see, the problem with these judges, mm -hmm. even if you're pretty mm -hmm. and you have you, and you don't have that personality, mm -hmm. you're not a people's person. You see, even me and you, we can relate very well and you've just met me, yes. you mm -hmm. know. Uh, yeah, I thought maybe once you are beauty, that is it. No. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing the beauty pages are changing mm -hmm. in the sense that, uh, sorry, uh, we're in school, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, it's a, it's a, in the sense that it's not about the beauty, mm -hmm. but it's the brains also. Mm -hmm. So, um, so they, no, instead of them now judging the beauty, which is a part of the competition, they mm -hmm. get to see what you're doing to the community mm -hmm. and they get to see if you're an empathetic person because okay. we get to relate with people who are not from a not so good environment mm -hmm. or maybe they're not blessed as much, mm -hmm. where you get to go to Kibra, to mm -hmm. the slums where uh, you distribute sanitary towels mm -hmm. to the less privileged, Do you know such things. Mm -hmm. So you are a voice to the voiceless. Mm -hmm. You are a face 
to these people. Mm -hmm. You get to inspire young and young people out here. Mm -hmm. And that's my role. Mm -hmm. And that's how you're going to be noticed out there. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started. Mm -hmm. I used to work in those charitable programs with NGOs. Mm -hmm. Until now, I got a pageant that can relate hand in hand mm -hmm. and get to compete. And I won. Wow. Now, somebody maybe may, 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 may ask you, maybe, what have you achieved so far in this uh, in this art? It has been a roller coaster, I would say that. It has been a bittersweet moment for me. Uh, started, as I, as I said, started, starting it was uh, such a hassle. I didn't know what I was doing. Until now, I got a mentor, I got a coach who was now, every day I kept on calling him. And Namuliza, what do I do? I'm mm -hmm. told to go grace an event and go appear somewhere for tree planting. Mm -hmm. How do I create network? Because I believe for a model, yes. especially a beauty queen, you have to create networks every day. Mm -hmm. You don't know who you can meet. Okay. Being a title holder has so much power. Yeah. You can knock to doors that you don't know you're going to be knocking. Yes. I have related myself with the, minis with the governors of this country. Mm -hmm. We've done something together. We've done uh, nice projects, uh, tree planting, mm -hmm. cleanup exercises, Mm -hmm. me talking and addressing the youth about a certain mm -hmm. pressing issue mm -hmm. in the society mm -hmm. and they use me as a vessel okay. and I feel like that's the best thing that I can ever do. Okay, now every uh, every journey has got some you know, challenges ups and downs and all that what are some of these challenges that you've encountered? Uh, back then, even now, but not that bad when I won my patient I felt like I was walking mm -hmm. On a silver lining, you know, I felt like I've conquered, yeah? I yeah. felt like I'm saying goodbye to my troubles. But that's when the challenges started. Mm -hmm. When you're green to a, to, a such a, to a such a big title, if you don't know what you're going to do with it, mm -hmm. the year will come by. Because for us, we always have a time period where it marks only one year, the next year they give it to another queen. Like you pass your crown to another person. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I needed to do so much for that one year to be able to be relevant in the society. Yeah. And I was like, hey, Sasa, I need to do a Sasa. Kazi. Kazi mm -hmm. So I remember, so when, when I won, mm -hmm. I didn't have so much support, mm -hmm. especially financially. Mm -hmm. And I was like, now I need to knock models. I need to create such opportunities by myself. Mm -hmm. Because sadly, and I'm going to say it, mm -hmm. beauty pageants. Mm -hmm. It's a business just like any other. Yeah? Okay. Like for myself, mm -hmm. I can be able to create an income through it. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. How? I can go, let's say I'm attending a school uh, forum or a career day. Mm -hmm. I get paid mm -hmm. to be able to attend. Wow. Yes, I get paid to be able to grace an event. I get paid to go whatever, uh, have uh, any national speech or any governmental uh, events that I'm, that I'm going, mm -hmm. I get paid before. So it comes with some packages. It comes with packages. So it's how you package yourself. Mm -hmm. As I always say, beauty pageants, mm -hmm. modeling is very different from beauty pageantry. Mm -hmm. Modeling, you market products and services. Mm -hmm. eh? you, are, you are used as a vessel. Yeah. Pageantry is... It's you as a whole. Mm -hmm. It's you as a whole. You have to be very empathetic. Mm -hmm. You have to be well groomed. You have to look nice every day. Wow. Yeah, because you're gonna be judged out there. So like, ule ni Miss Kenya, lakini anavadi. It's how you portray yourself, how you package yourself. You have yeah. to be have that image mm -hmm. where people can say. Yes. Even young people can be able to be like, I want to be like her in mm -hmm. the next few years. So mm -hmm. it's a whole package in pageantry. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a pressure. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to handle it, you're going to be swayed mm -hmm. by it. But if you know what you're going to do with it, it's going to open doors for you. You're going to have um, so many opportunities. You'll be tra traveling in almost all the countries. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you're going to be doing with such a title. Okay. And, and now, uh, young people, many young people upcoming. I know they have watched you, you know, from 20, 2019 uh, up to now. That's a, a tune of like uh, five years, right? Uh, what, what's the, this that you take? Yeah. Or rather, what do, you, what do you advise them about this journey? Because many will look up, many will look up, will look up to you and will want to be Miss Kenya one of these days. Yes, yes. Uh, so many people, young girls, and uh, even now we're in school, they always say that I'm their role model. It's very... Uh, it's 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 heartwarming mm -hmm. to someone to someone to say as young as they are you're my role model. I talk about you to my friends every single day. I want you to train me and all that because I believe in passing mm -hmm. 
whatever I learn as my expertise to people because I want to see this industry to grow. Yeah. You know, I want it to grow. I won interna I, I won some international awards mm -hmm. as I competed in Manila. Mm -hmm. And since then, we haven't performed really well as a country. Mm -hmm. And you actually ask yourself what's happening. But anyway, I believe in passing my my whatever I've learned, my expertise mm -hmm. to more people mm -hmm. and to be able to gather of course a crowd mm -hmm. to be able to learn a, a thing or two yeah. so what number one it all you need to have the patience you have to be very persistent about it mm -hmm. and you have i call it the three p's of my life yes. patience persistence and perseverance yes. if you don't have that out and mm -hmm. i have done so much especially in my line of career mm -hmm. now i'm an entrepreneur mm -hmm. i'm the founder of the sk show and the sk agency i have a modeling agency Mm. where I tap, I'm also a talent coach. I tap talent mm -hmm. and I tell them you're good at this. Come to visit me and let's see what you can propel you to do and be good at it. Okay. So I was like, whatever information I need mm -hmm. or I have, I just pass it to my people, yeah. to the aspiring models. Wow. Now, um, back to now, I made the motherland, Kenya. Uh, okay, of course, we had last uh, Miss Kenya 2019. No, no, no. Have you had some one? Yeah, yeah the, 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 there's a there's a new queen right now, mm -hmm. but I still they're still my sisters. I call them my sister queens because they're they're st they're in the position that I was years ago, mm -hmm. and my work is just to mentor them and tell them uh, do not be swayed by the title. By the way, you know, fame is very tricky. Call it? No, 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 mm -hmm. it's tricky in the sense that it is there's a, there's a word. Like many people, they want to be famous every single time. They would yeah. do anything for clout chasing. Yeah? yeah, it's addictive. Yeah, that's the word. Fame is very addictive. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, if 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 people don't see the relevance of you, mm -hmm. it's 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 but having said that, will, will, given a chance, will you go back again to compete? I would love to compete again, maybe, because um, for individual uh, reasons. Yeah, I would want to live top tier. Mm -hmm. And I would, I would want to be the next big thing mm -hmm. in it. I would love to do that. We'll see as mm -hmm. the year goes. I'd love to do that. But such things, such modeling, uh, be, such big beauty pages, mm -hmm. you need to you need to be prepared mm -hmm. psychologically, mentally, and financially, especially financially. Because once you start these things, you have to invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to invest in your outfits. You need to invest in photo shoots. You need to be seen out there. Mm -hmm. So you have to be prepared even if it takes one year of prepare yeah. preparations and you, uh, even at, I, I, some of the girls who uh, I mentor they ask me I want to enter into a beauty page and I'm like you need to prepare yourself don't come mm -hmm. saying mm -hmm. you are traveling into another country mm -hmm. and you are not financially secure True. you start knocking doors on offices and the answer is no yeah. until they see the the, the 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 ROI in this because as as, 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 a, as much as it, it's said it's a business yeah. For you as a corporate, you would want to see where your money is going and how it's coming in return, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So that's how I, I advise them. If it, even if it takes two years, mm -hmm. save whatever you need to save, mm -hmm. invest on photo shoots, invest on yourself, mm -hmm. and get as much training as you need to get in terms of research, yeah. and also get as many mentors who you see, who you look up to every single day. Mm -hmm. And from there, I think you'd be the next big thing out here okay during that it's just positioning yourself yeah, yeah. during that time eh? yeah. uh, during that time that you're competing or competition yeah. did government chip in order to support you <sighs> i was very financially challenged in the sense that i was very new i expected everything to be handled to be given uh, on a silver platter because i felt like i i won fair and square and i'm worthy to be given such such countries out there like south africa when you win Miss South Africa, you are given a luxury apartment for one year fully paid. Really? You're given a Mercedes Benz? Yes. These are sponsors. You're given a Mercedes Benz and you're given one year ambassador job. You are paid to wherever you're going. You know. So it's a prestigious crown at the end of the day. And that's why I need Kenya to be that way. Yeah? It's not like we don't have the resources. We have the resources. Nairobi is known as the biggest in resource making yeah? in Africa. Yeah? Why not channel that into, into this business? Because I believe it's a business and corporates can come through. And that's what I do for my fashion show. I have a fashion show that I, do, that I run once a year. I launched it last year. And I bring in corporates. I bring sponsors for them to see the needfulness 
of this industry where yeah. they can bank their money on yeah. you know yeah. and it has and at the, at the end of the day mm-hmm. it's an entertainment yeah. at the end of the day you get entertained you see yes. uh, showcases of designs you know it's yeah. a creative industry yeah? yeah and that's and we are in a creative economy mm-hmm. so that's what I'll challenge uh, the government to do because during my time you no know, it was just my friends who came friends through. only friends friends who were corporates too they came through uh kama government ilichangia nile tu kukuambia to all the best siko at the airport yeah all the best mm-hmm. until until they see that you've won that's when now they'll pay attention which is quite sad mm-hmm. for normal aspiring beauty queens who want how was the situation after you after your you had won when i won those international awards i won three awards i was i won the best in my pet project i did plastic pollution it was called the zero waste project then i won the best in cultural attire in africa and i won the best in swimwear in swimsuit so bagging all those three international awards made sense that now when i came here that's how people are now trying to come pay attention now kila mtu anataka simu yako mtu anataka simu and i was like it's quite unfair but i proved the point at the same time yeah. yeah because i was like i was serious about this because it took me a whole year to 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 train and do everything about it okay. yeah now um this question sometimes my fans or my followers always ask me <laughs> and i know they will ask me maybe down comment section okay. uh is miss kenya 2019 taken uh <laughs> 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 Of course everybody you know how any cinema cinema ni sitakuwa nayo because kila mtu miss kenya anataka any you know they, 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 you're carrying the world on you you know yeah yes um uh-huh. for now uh-huh. i cannot answer that question uh-huh. but there's no f- uh, ring finger mm-hmm. yes, at see. the same time yes. uh but i focus I, ch- i choose to focus on my career most uh-huh. so i leave it there <laughs> <laughs> I live it yeah. Now and also young people will ask maybe somebody else does you know uh, participation in you know participating in or qualify to for, for, for Miss Kenya, Kenya. Uh, yeah. does it have to do with the age limit or yeah, something it's an age limit mm-hmm. uh, it's always between 18 mm-hmm. to 25 26 that's a problem but now we're in the 21st century the beauty pageants that they're embracing even 30 year olds eh? yeah, yeah. so you need to position on yourself based on your age mm-hmm. based on your capability mm-hmm. that's number one. Mm-hmm. not everyone can do miss kenya it's very strict no one no one can do my pageant you yeah. know it's very strict uh, you live there when you are not okay mentally yes, you yes. know because of the pressure that you've been given yes and there's no there's so many patients out here so you need to position yourself if there's a patient that is going to embrace between 18 and 35 years go for it it's never the end of the road it's never the end of the road just position yourself believe in yourself that's number one. if you don't if you don't believe in yourself how will you how will other people believe in you true maybe the last word you can tell the youth and upcoming youth who are aspiring to be miss kenya yeah. and mr kenya but they see right to go mr kenya well, kuna mabeshte zangu sana yeah. mabeshte zangu when did you have last uh when was this it was it 2019 yeah he's still the current because yeah. he hasn't yeah. he hasn't um been challenged he's not, he's not he hasn't competed internationally yeah. because once you compete internationally mm-hmm. you can now pass the crown to someone else yeah. but we work hand in hand he's very supportive they're all supportive that's why I always tell them to let's just come close make even an association about this eh? because you know in our industry it's just full of exploitation yeah. so if you are exploited see itakuwa mbaya kwako ile mahali umeenda umeambo uende ufanye hii kazi unasema nitakulipa ulipo you know so that's why we need to we need to be to have an association where we are protected against such you know yeah so last word on that camera yeah i will say to you go for it doesn't hurt It's better than just sitting yourself in bed and not trying and regretting regret is the worst go for it whatever it is if it's modeling of course if it's being a beauty queen whatever industry that you are in whatever career that you are in it never hurts to try so go for it and remember to always give thanks you have to have that art of gratitude the act of gratitude every single time yeah and pray so thank you so much guys Uh this has been uh Miss Kenya 2019 Miss Anne. 
miss watu kusema mimi no okay Uli, eh, kabisa watu wata miss take eh? oh, i was miss miss art dunia miss art oh miss yeah. art kenya miss art kenya kuna miss universe kuna miss world ni mingi so wewe ulikuwa miss art Yes. My my pageant was uh was about the environment and how you take care of your environment about mm-hmm. environmental conservation. Mm-hmm. So I was a delegate, a Kenyan delegate to represent my country in Manila, Philippines. Mm-hmm. Yes, in chapter 19 in 2019. <laughs> okay. So guys, okay, you've heard from uh, her mouth or from herself, Miss Kenya Arts. It's been big pleasure. Thank you. I'm humbled. Yes. I'm always uh, willing to talk. Me can talk till tomorrow. <laughs> it's not that time is as limiting us. But I thank you guys for watching us. I've been your host David Cham. See you in the next video. Bye.